What's up guys, it's Jazz and Ivy, and I'm back with another hair video. So today I have a wig from Likeable Wig. I have the link to this exact wig in the description box below, their Instagram, contact information, and the website. This lace is truly HD, it blends right in with my skin tone, and this is before I even added makeup to the lace, y'all. This is straight out the pack. The hair was extremely curly, slight flyaways, but really, really curly, and the density of the hair was very, very thick. So the company provided me with a detailed instruction template with what hair products to use, what curling methods, what temperature, the blow dry is not suggested for this hair, it'll dry out the hair. So make sure you guys just read through the instructions that they send you. And then the hair also came with a card for hair tips. They provided me with this black wig cap, this pink edge brush to do my edges, and then also some really, really cute lashes that I'm going to stack on top of some other lashes. And now let's get into the wig install. I'm going to be using this beige colored um, wig cap. My hair kind of was already um, able to get really flat so I just I didn't braid the front of my hair I just put it in the wig cap and freeze sprayed it back off camera now here you can see after I freeze spray my hair back I'm now going to freeze spray the wig cap um, and line it up with my hairline um, this is my first time installing a 5x5 closure wig, but the company let me know, hey, this is a really, really good wig that you can install yourself just on the go. So let me tell y'all, this install took probably 20 to 30 minutes. It really took no time because I already had my hair, you know, being able to get flat. And here I'm just showing you guys how thick and full the wig was and also how well blended this lace was. It already looks like a natural part. I didn't do any bleaching to the knots. The knots came pre-bleached. The wig came with three clips, two on the sides and one in the back to make sure that it is tight. And then it also came with an adjustable band to make sure that the wig is snug on your head. So I use my cream foundation in a shade um, 11. I use Ruby Kisses and then I use just a foundation brush. I dab it and then I make sure I cover my whole entire wig cap. So just take a little bit of the makeup, put it on the brush and then blend that wig cap girl. Make sure that that wig cap is as close to your skin complexion as possible. Then after that, you wanna take this same Ruby Kiss foundation and you want to apply the same exact color lightly onto the lace of your wig. Alright y'all, so now that I've added the makeup onto the lace of the wig, I'm just going to slide it on back, <laughs> adjust it in the back. I went ahead and clipped the comb in the back so that it stays snug back there. And here you can see I'm just pulling this lace straight forward. The point of this wig is that it's glueless, y'all. The wig is glueless. I'm telling you, you don't need any glue. It's not going to pull out your edges and there's not too much tension on your hairline. So I could really just wear the hair like this. I loved it like this, but I decided I wanted to do a little styling to it just to make sure that, you know, it looks as natural as possible. So as you guys can see, I'm pulling out my two parts um, for my edges. I'm going to use some mousse, some got to be styling glue, and a pair of scissors to go ahead and cut off that long piece of hair and make these edges look really, really thin and baby-like. Um, it takes me sometimes a minute to do my edges because I like them to look a certain way. Plus, I use a flat iron to curl them back and then lay them flat with the styling products.
So now that I'm done doing my baby hairs, I'm just taking a water bottle that I added lukewarm water to and I'm just spraying out these curls. I want to get the curls to look really fluffy and full, make the wig look even bigger. Um, I love wet looking curls and then when it dries, it just makes it look full and give it some more volume. So here I'm brushing it out and watch how I can just lift up this lace and boom, there go the wig cap and I put it right back down and it blends in with my skin. HD lace is definitely what you have to get when you want to do a glueless install. I use no glue. As you can see, I'm taking the rack tail comb and just lifting up my lace because this is glueless. You need no glue, just a little bit of product, some free spray, and you're good to go. So now, just watch as I'm going to show you guys a couple of styles that I did on how I would wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, so just look. This is how I would style my hair using this 5x5 glueless HD wig. And don't forget, the link to purchase this wig is in the description box below. Thank you.